The uh, rain on the roof here in the Temple Studio, and we probably will for a while. Yeah, this is a live look from the south side of Temple. We've got rain coming down, lightning every couple of seconds or so. Uh, pretty good little thunderstorm making its way off uh, Interstate 14 onto Interstate 35 today. New severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 3 a.m., which basically covers the portions of Central Texas east of I-35 that weren't covered by the one we were under earlier this afternoon. The rain in the west is now making its way across the I-35 corridor. It's going to be affecting much of the area east of I-35 back to I-45 and into the Piney Woods in deep east Texas as we go into the late night, early morning hours. The big threat to the east and the further east you go is going to be heavy rain on grounds that got so much rain over the weekend. We had storms on Saturday night and then more last night as well. So there's going to be a big flood problem uh, across much of the area east of I-45. Tonight we're tracking rain showers along I-35 making its way up into Falls County on over into Limestone and Freestone County as well. Storms we're tracking now in a line that have pushed through uh, McLennan County into Hill County now and, and heading eastward will be affecting uh, Murchison, Edom, Brownsboro and Athens over the next 15 to 20 minutes or so, continuing its track back towards the east pretty rapidly. We're at 61 degrees in Hamilton. They got about four inches of rain in some spots out there this afternoon. Scare with some rotation in the clouds and some very large hail being reported between Hamilton and Gatesville to the size of baseballs this afternoon. Things have settled down now. The winds have gone around to the north. Skies are beginning to clear out for them. It's 59 in Brownwood, 57 in Lamp Passes, 61 with rain in Colleen, 63 in Temple with rain at 63 with rain in Waco at this hour. At the airport, we're getting rain 63, 90% relative humidity, winds out of the north, just about 10 miles an hour already. So the front has made its way through our area, it continues to push the rain off towards the east pretty rapidly. By morning, we'll see some wraparound moisture with the low pressure system back through Oklahoma, but that's far away from us. I just don't see a whole lot of additional rain in the outlook for us as we go through Wednesday night into Thursday. So for tonight, cloudy skies, windy conditions, 60% chances of storms that are in progress right now, 62 the overnight low, winds shifting around to the north 10 to 20 miles an hour, and gusty at times. Tomorrow promises to be a clearing day for us. We'll start out cloudy, 30% chances of showers, northwest winds 10 to 50. How about that? 78 degrees the afternoon high, 83 on Thursday. Remember last week when it was so hot, we were hitting new record highs. It's because of a very strong ridge of high pressure in place. Well, the ridge broke down. We had storms on Saturday. We had storms last night. We have storms this evening. It looks like it's going to be nice through Memorial Day, but that ridge builds back in next week, and it looks like readings back up into the mid and upper 90s, a good likelihood for us next week. Now we're getting closer and closer to summer. Here comes that heat packing in, in huh? Andy? Indeed, sir. All right, we'll brace for it.